Hello and welcome. Today we are in the tier 10 German battleship, the Grosse Kofest. It is a tier 10 battle. Unfortunately, there are CVs around. Nothing I can do about that. However, there are a bunch of tier 8 ships, which I guess kind of makes up for it. Because the Grosse Kofest is great at fighting close range, especially when the ships that we're fighting are weaker. And so... Because there are CVs around and CV games aren't that fun to play in the first place, well, I'm gonna push into the cap zone and, oh, by the way, they also have two Kremlins, which makes the situation even worse. So I'm gonna push hard into the sea cap early and just kinda hope for the best. Sure, I know that ships on our side here don't have the most amount of, uh, that is, we don't have the most amount of support, but I'm just gonna hope for the best. Consider it, but looking at the minimap so far, the North Carolina, Bismarck, and Albemarle spawning over there on the western side of the map, and the audacious planes coming here on the eastern side of the map are all bad news for me. And, uh, yeah. I would probably be just sailing empty for quite a while if uh, I decided to change course. Is that audacious trying to... What? Who is he trying to drop with that? Well, Holland will actually give me incredible cover, though. But what the hell is that Audacious doing with those planes? Because he's definitely not trying to save them. Dang it, the Kremlin's actually coming over here. That's not good news. Wait, seriously, the enemy CV just threw all of the planes away. Is he gonna attack... He attacked with one torpedo bomber. <laughs> one. Uh, I, I mean, okay. Okay then. Kind of sucks though that our Friesland has taken so much damage already, but... Wow. That... Yeah, I don't think that was worth it, Mr. CV. And the enemy actually seems to be abandoning, abandoning this side of the map. Audacious is coming back though. Unfortunately, my plane has already been used. But there are two destroyers with good anti-air here. And uh, maybe that'll make up for it. Nope, Audacious. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, there's the Fletcher. I drop. Fletcher also already used her uh, torpedoes, but just in case I'm not gonna use this damage control yet. I wonder why I'm spot- oh, it's the Erland over there. I'm gonna just chill over here. Well, somewhere over here. Because I don't want to push out, because Fletcher will have torpedoes soon enough. And hopefully my destroyers can simply take care of that Fletcher. Come on, guys. I believe in you. Actually, I do need to go forward. I don't want to get blacked by the Kremlin. Ooh, Kremlin's getting torped. Good. Slow down a little bit to confuse the Fletcher even more, because once the Fletcher's dead, I don't have to worry about the torpedoes anymore. Oh, there's a Bismarck over there. Mostly, though, I wanted to deal with the Smolensk. Oh, there she is. Hello, Smolensk. She also has torpedoes, by the way. But if we can take care of her... Oh, God, there are the torpedoes already. That's not good. I really don't get... Why does Smolensk get torpedoes anyway? That seems really... It seems as though they were trying to make an overpowered ship. Come on. Overpens and overpens and overpens and overpens and overpens and overpens and overpens. Seriously, I've... I bet the secondaries have done as much damage as the main guns so far. 
I don't want to launch the plane. Cause the oh yeah, I probably should have aimed lower into the water. Come on, secondaries. I believe in you. Secondaries, please. No! Oh my god. Seriously. I've been away for so long, yet Smolensk is still the same problem as it always was. The best part is that he can just keep firing too. And now he also has a heal to heal up because, you know, Smolensk needs everything. Kind of surprised Smolensk doesn't get, like, um, a radar. I'm gonna target the Baltimore, because she's a cruiser, and cruisers tend to... Oh my god, that's a destroyer. That's very not good news. I'm completely dead. And more over penetrations. Yay! Okay, I need to... I can't target the destroyer. The angle is too bad for this. And I also must take care of the battleship here. Dang it. Too many ships at once. But then again, I guess we've technically already won the game, huh? I mean... They don't exactly have much map control, and they don't even have as many ships as we do. Oh god, another ship that's within secondary range. Kinda hope- I'm gonna ignore that North Carolina. I hope he doesn't realize where I am as well because of that. I'm just gonna pretend that if I can't see him, uh, he can't see me. I think the North Carolina can see me. God damn it. That's because I looked at him, okay? Oh yeah, there was a CV this game too. That's why everything went so poorly, isn't it? It's always the CV's fault. I'm gonna run aground here. Wait, no, even if I run aground here, I'm still gonna take all the torpedoes. Damn it! This wargaming is why nobody likes CVs, okay? Oh, wait, what? What the fuck? How am I still alive? What? Okay. I mean, <laughs> what? <laughs> and the North Carolina is actually looking elsewhere. Oh my god, what is this? Oh yeah, between a Friesland and a Holland, I actually might have enough, uh, what's it called, anti-air to keep me alive for a while. This is amazing. Wait, who's looking at me? Is it the North Carolina? Please don't be the North Carolina. Because he's about the only ship that can really punish me. Oh yeah, this is coming with dive bombers or bombers, huh? Well, in that case, we're gonna show as little of a broadside or as little of a target as possible. And we'll probably have the Damacon though. Oh, we didn't! Excellent! Wow, what is this? This this is great! I like it. I need to hide her all. Wow, what is this? <laughs> the sixth sense? Hey! I should hide her all. I press the button and torpedoes are coming exactly on the on the edge too. Wow. Anyway, time for uh, some Baltimore action. And my plane's up again as well. Which I'm gonna wait to see whether the whether the CV even tries to come in. Yeah, it does seem to be the case, or at least it's potentially possible. Ooh, we got the Baltimore. Oh, there's the audacious. That's quite audacious of him. This game went a lot better than I expected. Hydra's up. My Hydra is up for another 95 seconds. 
this is to help my teammates that are, uh, or to let my destroyer teammates know that they can, or they don't need to worry about it too much. Oh, Erland. Hello. Ooh, 17k on the CV. Torpedoes are seen from far away. That can't be my Hydra. That has to be something else. <laughs> you know what? Maybe the CV is... Oh god, I'm gonna take this one torpedo. Damn it! Not much I can do there though. Sadly. Because I tried to slow down and turn in, but unfortunately it wasn't quite enough. Then again, I have a lot of HP left now. So, this isn't too bad. And we hold all three capstones and the game's over. Wow, what a game! I expected to have a very short game this time. Like, when I entered the C cap, I expected the game to pretty much end there. Especially when I got through it and I was really low HP, there was a Bismarck firing at me, a Baltimore, a Destroyer straight ahead of me. You know, I expected the game to kind of end there, but um, apparently, no, I played it till the very end. Sank three ships total, got a Fireproof, a Confederate, a Close Quarters Expert, a Dreadnought, a High Caliber, and I did 202k damage. Okay. Almost 202k damage, okay? But, I mean, that's... This is a great game. Damn. Especially since the enemy had two Kremlins and we didn't have either. I need to compliment both of these destroyers. Wait, the Friesland actually survived? This guy was at like 7k HP, like, I don't know, four minutes into the match. And he's actually number two and survived. Damn. What a great game. Really can't ask for more, to be honest. I really enjoyed it. 1.8 million potential damage. I feel the number is kind of low considering where I was, but then again, many players didn't really shoot me. Oh, I should give the North Carolina a compliment for uh, good manners, for not shooting me when I was vulnerable. You know, I couldn't have done it without him. Oh, I also did 44k damage to aircraft. I guess the planes did fly at me and somewhere near me because they also wanted to strike the destroyers. That's a lot of ships firing at me. Kremlin, North Carolina, Smolensk, Bismarck, Öland, Baltimore, Kremlin. None of them actually did that much damage. The Smolensk actually did the most damage. Wow. Yeah, actually didn't sink the Smolensk. What happened to him? Oh, he was sank by the Hindenburg. Well, at least that's good. But look, secondaries actually did more damage than the main batteries. Damn, I really should have fired, you know, below the waterline and hoped that shells hit in that case. Oh well, it happens. I guess we can go over the uh, captain skills and upgrades then. Because some of you might be interested. I don't really think this is the greatest build. I just think this is one of the most fun builds. So, I went with priority target. Obviously, this is the first skill I take on almost every single ship. Then adrenaline rush, then superintendent. After that, obviously, advanced firing training because you want the secondary range. Then manual secondaries. And last, I went IFHE. Now, my survivability actually suffers from this. Oh, and then I took preventative maintenance. My survivability obviously suffers for, for this. However, this means that my HE shells are... Actually, is this necessary? I've been away for the game for so long that I don't actually know if I need this. I actually don't know if you need this. Anyway, this is the skills I played with. But if, the, if there were IFHE changes, then this might actually not be necessary. Because this was used so that the these 128mm guns would be able to penetrate, but I don't know if that if that's actually necessary anymore. Because some of the changes in the past were actually, you know, to change that. 
Anyway, these are the uh, upgrades I used. Uh, I go for a secondary HP, because your secondaries do die quite easily. Then I go for Hydro. If you don't have the special Hydro upgrade, I would recommend Damage Control. Then obviously secondary range, because I am already so invested in secondaries. Then Damage Control System Modification 2. Then in the last slot, I'm not actually using Concealment as I normally would, because my Concealment already would be like 15 or 16 kilometers, which is not great. So I figured I would try out the uh, consumer, the upgrade that makes consumables longer. So 10% longer consumables means 10% more HP from a heal, for example. Also makes the... Uh, look, it lasts for 30.8 seconds and heals 3, 634 HP. Sure, it's only like... what is this? Like, uh, we're talking about 15, 16, 1700 HP, you know, per heal used, but you add up all five of them, that's 8k HP. Also makes the plane last longer and the Hydra last longer. Oh, and damage control as well. So I just wanted to see if it works and it has been fine. In the last slot I used the special upgrade or legendary upgrade that gives a uh, main battery reload boost and uh, a secondary reload boost. If I didn't have this, I would go for main battery reload most likely. Because, well, main batteries are still your main way of dealing damage rather than the secondaries. So I don't really recommend this one. I don't think it's very good. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support. And I hope I'll see you guys next time.